Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So this morning, we're getting all of the equipment moved from this home farm, we're gonna bring it to the Danker farm, and we're gonna start harvesting that 100 and about 120 acres of soybeans. So it's still a little bit moist and dewy this morning, right now, so we can't quite start harvesting yet. But, but, but by the time we get the equipment over there, get everything set up, I think the beans will be ready to harvest. So let's go. hooked up to the disc so as soon as dad's har done harvesting those ends he can go and disc down the butt down the ends since obviously they're ridge and they're rough so we're gonna, we're gonna get this hooked up and hopefully it's not too hard because that tongue hitch on that disc is floppy like it's just it hangs down so I'll have to figure something out to be able to hook it up by myself we'll see what I can do Well, we'll see how it works. Hopefully it works because I don't feel like messing with this for another five minutes. I couldn't have timed it any better if I ever tried again. As soon as that tongue got right onto the draw bar, this thing unhooked. So that was perfect. down the buffers are done and now the harvest fun continues
right, so now we're taking this, taking the grain cart and set of wagons. We're gonna take the wagons up there and load them into the bin. Dad's finishing up his last round. And then we're gonna call it quits for the night. As soon as we get those wagons unloaded, we won't unload this grain cart into the wagons tonight just because it's getting a little bit late and we can do it in the morning since we can't harvest until about 11 or noon since the beans get are tough in the morning. So we'll get those wagons unloaded and we'll call it quits for the night. On second thought, I guess we are unloading all the grain from the combine to the grain cart to the wagon. So yep, we'll get it all unloaded. guys so we're back this morning and it's about 10 30 and there's actually no dew this morning so we're getting started a little bit earlier than we normally would we only have about 40 acres left on this field and then we'll be done with organic bean harvest then we'll have 40 acres of conventional beans that we have to go harvest and we'll probably move over to that field this afternoon if we can get this done in a timely manner but we'll just have to see what we can do I did also get a new microphone, so maybe you guys can hear a little bit of a difference in sound quality. I know I could, at least I was using the GoPro microphone for the past few videos because my other mic broke, but now I got this one and it should sound pretty good. I thought it sounded pretty good, but let me know what you guys think. If you can hear a sound quality, well that's good. If not, then oh well, at least I tried. <laughs> Look what I get to run. I finally get to run the combine. I hardly ever get to run the combine and never by myself. So first time and it seems to be doing fine, but it's easy enough with the GPS and the header control. You're just kind of sitting here watching and making sure everything's working right. The beans are doing pretty good. About 70 bushels an acre here, but I think they're averaging about 70, or not 70, but 65 or so, 60, 65 I think. So not horrible.
back to the grand car I go. tractor fueled up and now we're gonna head over to the last 40 acre field of soybeans and then after that we'll be done with soybean harvest 2021.
right guys, so we came back from the Gould farm, we got back to the, de the Danker farm, and we're bringing the wagons, and we're gonna bring them home, because we don't need these wagons at Gould, because we're just loading the semi, and that's our conventional field. We're just, we're just loading onto the semi, and they're gonna take it over to the grain elevator. So we don't need these wagons, we're gonna, Dad's, got, he, Dad's going to get the other blue wagons, so we're gonna take all these wagons, and take them home. All right guys, it's the next morning and we're back at it. We've got about, so about, I'd say 25 acres, 20 to 25 acres left, and then we'll be done with this field. And that means we'll be done with soybean harvest 2021. I guess I should explain that this field is our only conventional field. And we only reason we farm it is because the, our family has farmed it for another older lady or family, an older lady and her, hus her late husband. We've just farmed their ground for a while, and this is the piece that we've had for basically for the whole time that we've been farming it. And we just didn't see the need to give it up, even though it's not organic. We didn't really need to give it up because we can still do a little bit of conventional. It's not too much of a hassle since we don't have to store it in bins. We can just haul it right to the grain elevator and then just sell it as is. guys so dad took the combine and he's gonna go home and I'm just gonna take the truck because we have to come back and get something either way because we have three pieces of equipment and two people to drive so I'm just gonna take the truck home and then later after we get back after we get home probably go eat some lunch dad will come back and bring me over here so I can get the 240 and then I'll take that home Alright guys, I've got I've got back into the 240. Now I'm gonna take this thing home and then Dad's going to actually finish harvesting 
the buffer along the neighbor at the home farm, and then we'll finally be done with every single soybean on our farm. Dumping the rest of that buffer into the wagon so we can bring this to the grain elevator since it might possibly have a little bit of spray on it from the neighbor. So just to be safe, we'll take it to the grain elevator. All right guys, so we got st some stuff put away, what we want put away. Now it's going to be, we're gonna have to wait for the company to come spread our manure. And then after they spread the manure, I think we're gonna go disc some ground, probably harrow it down so it's smooth. And then we're gonna, then we're gonna have to drill our winter wheat. But that'll be plenty of other videos. And this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, give it a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe right down below. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Oh,